Dev Mandal. He's working on Markov, which is a brand new company, which is basically in the business of harvesting real world data for real life AI. We're talking about robotics, basically, right, that need to be trained on data that is usually, I think, harvested from human participants or human customers. Right. So then what does that look like? Are you able to just put some smart glasses on that person's face? Mm -hmm. Or is it more complex than that? Like what goes into this? Basically, there are three to four ways that we can look at it on how you could generate data. One thing is it starts with teleoperation. You could just have a human actually control a robot using a joystick or something similar for a certain robotic task. It would just be some action is just much more natural. And teleoperation is a good way to capture that essence. That is uh, one thing, but again, it's not scalable. The second way is human mimicking. As in, if we just had a video feed, let's say there's a camera was over here and I'm flipping burgers and you had like someone annotate the joint angles of my arm positioning and my wrist. If you could have that labeled data, we could train a model on top of that too. Do you get better data if you have more cameras for that method? Oh uh, yes, I would assume so. Because the main thing is you just want to get the right joint angles. You want to get the right positioning of each component. But then again, the main challenge faced here is it's still a human, right? Does like the human data translate to your custom hardware. But that's also a problem that it's being heavily researched on right now. Okay. And then coming to like another one is AR VR. Just like give someone a smart glasses, which records your POV footage and just give it to human workers and they're already doing a task, right? So it makes a lot of sense to get this. But at the reality is that video feed is just one of the many sensors, one of many inputs that these sort of robots would have. So it works for us humans, but it might not work for all robots right now. Or maybe we don't have advanced enough robots. We can just operate based off a good video feed. So you're going to need other sensor data too. 